right, y'all, it's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and this is your Calvin Cater versus uh, Arnold Allen uh, breakdown. I love this fight. I know my videos are a little late. Uh, I kind of forgot about this fight week. Uh, I was like, oh, yeah, this is like next week. So the videos are going to come out a little late, but hey, it is what it is. We'll, we'll get back on track next week, but hey. What a phenomenal fight in this featherweight division. This card isn't necessarily stacked, but this fight right here is fucking phenomenal. I felt like this should have been a fight that maybe we, we got um, for UFC Austin, but I love that we got Josh Emmett versus uh, Cater, which was an also a really fun fight to watch. I love this fight. The way these guys match up, both guys, they love to use their hands, but they have underrated uh, aspects in their striking. Both guys are underrated in their grappling. I would say Allen has the... Um, I would say he has the grappling advantage, but slight. And I would say uh, Cater does have a boxing advantage coming into this matchup, just looking at the tape. But I love this fight. There's no real story behind it. Uh, you have Calvin Cater coming off a controversial decision loss to Josh Emmett. You have Arnold Allen coming off one of the biggest wins of his career against uh, Dan Hooker. And it's just a situation where I think the UFC are giving is giving Arnold this opportunity to kind of, kind of showcase himself in front of the main fan base. And they're also giving Cater an opportunity the, you know, get that balance back, uh, a win over a legit dude and uh, a young up and coming guy. So, and Cater's been been here before, where he's had to show a young up and coming guy that hey, your time isn't now. So, I love this fight. And Arnold, I don't think so, but a lot of people have pegged him to be the next guy up. The probably the guy to dethrone Volk. That I've seen that a lot. Like they, a lot of people have pegged Arnold as that guy and. I don't see it necessarily, but some people really, really do. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get down to the stats. I mean, Calvin Cater comes with a record. Actually, let's look at the rankings before we even do any of that. Uh, UFC rankings. I think Cater's probably what number five or something like that. I mean, I can't wait for the ranking change. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Calvin Cater number five, Arnold Allen number six. So big opportunity for Arnold here. Uh, but yeah, uh, Cater comes with a record of 23 and six is, uh, fighting out of Massachusetts, age 34. So that's something to look at. A high to 5'11 and a reach 72. Allen is 18 and one, uh, is fighting out of England, age 28, a high to 5'8 and a reach of 70. So some interesting aspects of this fight. Uh, Cater, he's 34. He's getting out of his prime. Allen, he's 28. He's coming into his prime. Not there yet, but he is getting close. So those are aspects to look at. Uh, Cater does have a reach advantage, and that's pretty much it. Uh, besides that, and he, and Cater is a taller guy, but besides that, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, man, let's look at, um, the good wins that Allen has, uh, produced. You know, some, his best wins, in my opinion, are, uh, Dan Hooker, Sadiq Youssef, uh, Gilbert Melendez, uh, Maz Barnell was actually pretty, uh, underrated, and Maquan Americani. I would say those are his best wins. Um, I mean, the Americani fight was really super, super close. It, it went to a split decision. Maz Barnell fight, I mean, Maz has been doing his thing in Bellator. It's kind of up and down, but he is a, a top guy there. Um, and I mean, dude, he fucking choked him out, and Barnell is pretty hard to choke out and that was uh impressive the Gilbert Melendez fight was just a beating of an older guy and man he put it on him man and that was one of the fights that was just a big showcase fight for Arnold Allen where people were like whoa this kid's really really good in my opinion I mean Gilbert's old you know what I'm saying that's not impressive uh Jeremy Stevens did that you know what I'm saying uh so hey it is what it is and then you know he had that hard fight against Nick Lentz I almost forgot to bring that up Nick Lentz gave it to him on short notice he was actually Arnold was actually supposed to fight Josh Emmett on that card and then Nick came on a short notice fight and Nick gave him some problems, man. Nick fought. And um, I, Alan won, obviously, but yeah, Nick gave him some problems. And then his next two fights, high caliber opponents and Sadiq and Dan, way better than his, you know, his previous opponents. Um, man, he put it on Sadiq Yusuf. In my opinion, I, I actually think the Sadiq Yusuf fight was actually more impressive than the the Dan fight because we saw so much more out of Allen. His grappling looked good. His boxing looked pr uh, precise. Man, he was just beating uh, Sadiq to the punch. And uh, man, he dropped him in the first round. And then that head kick he landed in that second round was just beautiful. Obviously, he took that third round off and obviously Sadiq ended up winning that. But yeah, that was such a, a clinical performance. And then the Dan Hooker fight. Man, he, he destroyed my guy, Dan. You know, I came in here thinking Dan would use more of a grappling kind of approach against... Uh, 
Arnold and, you know, obviously used his reach. But it was weird. Dan didn't really use his reach effectively. He didn't put that stick jab on him. And what I mean by that, that stiff jab on him. He was putting a rangefinder jab and, like, almost like a touchy jab. And that's why Allen would just, like, run through his lead hand and just throw cross cross over cross you know like just right hand over right hand and just one twos he was just kind of like because the jab was was not a real jab he wasn't you know he wasn't putting that stick on him and uh that's how dan got caught man i feel like and he just got caught over and over again and he couldn't find his his bearings but dan caught him though he dropped him with a lead hook and that's why i wasn't too impressed with this performance um arnold just kind of recklessly just tried to run over Dan basically you know with with punches and volume and just try to get a finish in there that's all I saw to be honest and that's all what happened and yeah he got the finish and you know obviously Hooker had to you know get a standing TKO but I wasn't too impressed by that you know obviously Dan was cutting weight so that's another thing I, I, I put into perspective but um but yeah like in terms of a technical perspective it wasn't the greatest performance. I, I, a lot of people don't actually uh, criticize him for that. It was kind of a brawl if you watch that fight. And he can't do that with Cater. Cater's not a guy you want to brawl with. And I think he's smart enough not to do that. Uh, but yeah, he is fighting Cater next after that Dan Hooker fight. And if we look at what Cater's accomplished and the guys he's competed against, man, you look at Cater's resume, win and loss, man, he's fought a way higher level of competition Josh Emmett split decision. Some people thought he won. I thought he won that fight. Uh, he beat Giga, who's a really good kickboxer. Uh, lost to Max Holloway. That was a complete domination. Beat Dan Ige. Beat Jeremy Stevens. Had a really close fight with Zabi. Uh, destroyed Ricardo Lamas and Chris Fischgold. Had a really good fight against Renato Mocanio. Beat Shane Burgos. Andre Feely. So just look at the guys he's, he's fought, right? Like, a lot of good guys. He's beating some good guys, right? Shane Burgos, Andre Philly, Alamis, Jeremy Stevens, Dan Ige, Giga. He's beating some really, really good guys. Uh, and he's lost to some really good guys too, right? Josh Emmett, and that one was controversial. Uh, Max Holloway, Mocanio was a beat, right? No shame in that. Um, I feel like with Cater's last fight, I feel like he's, he's, Oh, man, he's gotten so much better with his striking. Like, both guys have gotten so much better. I would say both guys are really good boxers. And Arnold just throwing the head kick in there, just adding stuff to his game, right? But with Cater, the elbows, right? He's not just a traditional boxer. And I love how Cater will throw that lead knee and then just kill somebody with a spinning back elbow, right? Um, it's It's so clean. Uh, and I just can't fucking wait for it. Um, this fight is a phenomenal fight. Uh, but yeah. So let's talk about the Josh Hammett fight. So I, I scored it 3-2 Cater. I thought Cater won the first. No, not the first. The second, the fourth, and the fifth. Uh, and obviously I thought Emmett won the first and the third. But it was a close fight. Uh, I wasn't too mad about it. The only issue I saw with the Cater fight against Josh Emmett was Cater was just too reluctant to throw combinations. I think he was just too reliant on that jab. And that's one thing I like about Cater coming in, into this matchup, though, is that Cater has a real jab. He put that stick on uh, Josh Emmett, and he was hurting Emmett. Eventually, when Emmett started landing shots to the body, that's when his combinations were going. Um, so with Cater, I like that game plan he did for Emmett for Arnold Allen because I think this is going to be a long fight and it's going to take Cater a minute to figure this kid out but um I like that jab that he put on uh on Emmett and he's gonna have to do that again to Allen I think Allen he's he's kind of like he kind of got blessed with Dan because Dan didn't use his his size and his reach on him uh and that's why he looks so good but I, I think Cater's going to be smart enough to use his reach and his size, even though Cater probably has a has smaller arms than Dan. Uh, he's going to put that stick on him. And I just don't think Arnold can, can, can successfully deal with that jab for five rounds. I think Arnold's going to have to throw in takedowns and uh, try to get um, – some some top time that's how i think arnold needs to win this fight real talk i think add the punches and add the takedowns but i just think cater's takedown defense is too good and i think his boxing is too good and i think it's just going to be a little ahead of arnold allen and he could catch allen allen did get dropped in his last fight so uh, and we all know the uk boys don't have great chins i'm just saying it's a fact um but <laughs> you know I'm, I'm joking uh but but the main point is i think cater's gonna win this um 
I got catered by fourth round or fifth round TK or catered by decision. Those are kind of my picks uh, for this fight. But yeah, um, Cater's going to put that stick on him, man. And another thing is, Cater's from America. And we are going America in this hoe over this UK boy. Our Allen going down. I'm rocking with Calvin Cater here. Um, yeah, Calvin Cater by fourth round or fifth round uh, TKO or by decision. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. All those links will be down below in the description box. Like, comment, and share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. Uh, and the full card predictions will be coming out soon. I will be making that uh, that today. I might drop it tomorrow or today. So it is what it is. If you see it, you see it. But for sure, you're going to see this video today. Love y'all and goodbye.